How's it going, everyone? <sighs> yep, back over at the arcade. Time to put our little wall in to protect our stairwell. So nobody comes over here and goes, Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't get too close with the camera because I'm looking through the camera and looking down in there and it's kind of, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build a little, uh, a little wall going all the way around the stairwell with a cap on it and uh, it can be used, you know, to set stuff on your drinks. I'm kind of debating and I may once I put the cap on it on the top I may put a little uh, backsplash so to speak on it so that uh, stuff can't get knocked over when somebody's coming up and drop a soda or or a brick on them you know something like that so that's kind of my plan at the moment uh, we'll get that far get the cap on it and then we'll see what we can come up with something that looks nice uh, I don't want it to look you know ghetto -y. <laughs> all right first thing we need to do is we determine that we want our little wall about 42 inches high uh, that's like I said that that's pretty good as far as uh, adults not, you know, falling into it and falling down into the hole. So our bottom plate, uh, I checked to see how old these 2x4s were. They're inch and a half. Anymore, you don't know. you got to measure all this stuff anymore to see uh, what they were making it at that time. So our bottom plate is going to be inch and a half and our top will be inch and a half so that's 39 inches on our two by fours now if I want I can go to like 37 and a half and that would be our with our cap on the top making the top exactly 42 inches which that's probably what I'm gonna do I mean it's no big deal inch and a half is it gonna really matter much but we'll do it that way make them make our two by fours uh, our little studs uh, 37 and a half and I'm also gonna do it 12 on center down through here and the back uh, just to kind of stiffen it up a little bit more uh, if need be uh, I really don't want to do it but here on the corner, I may have to run a post all the way up to the ceiling to catch my strength. We'll see. Once we get the wall built, you know, we can cut this down and put a post in there. I think I have a couple, maybe one, one extra 2 by 4 that's uh, 10 foot. And that's 112 to the ceiling so that may be what we have to do and then we can paint the 2 by 4 you know kind of a light brown it's kind of a shit brindle brown or something to kind of make it blend in kind of hate doing that I hate having posts that's why I hate downstairs with the posts in the middle of the floor no matter where you put them they're always always in the way no matter what you do but we have to have enough strength out here so it's not wobbly back and forth and if somebody leans up against it it's not going to break it down uh, you know and going across is not an option <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to start with this little wall first here at the head of the stair or back of the stairs I guess you want to call it for the simple fact is I can run it right out to the edge or right out here 
and then when we put our wall the long wall in here it'll go up against that and it'll give it give this a little bit more strength this way won't have a tendency to want to fall in uh, the other one problem I do see is whoever built this must have been drunk this is the outside wall it's out of plumb oh god probably uh, that's about an inch and a quarter and that's only eight foot or four foot so it's going to be up to the top it's going to be about two and a half inches off so we'll have to kind of uh, do a little creative shimming over there to get that little wall plum now the floor floor is good it's only over a four foot period or four foot length it's only off probably a sixteenth so it's probably about an eighth inch off from there to there now if I can reach this one let's take a look here now see that one's off a little bit more what are we off over four foot well about half an inch three-eighths of an inch and it is screwed all the way down well maybe not we may be able to pick pick it up there's a little bit of a gap here I'll get some of it back uh, screwing the bottom plate down I think we can suck that up and get it pretty close okay so we determined 37 and a half inches or what our studs gonna be uh, the bottom is 44 and three-quarter bottom plate I'll probably make the top plate Uh, that I'm gonna have to I'll do a little figuring on got my chop saw set up so we're in good good shape <laughs> got a box of screws these suckers $28 for a box of screws I don't even number two five pound 28 bucks for five pound box of screws nice god stuff's getting expensive and then on our corners here and down there I figured what I would do is I have these doubles with a a shim in the middle uh, I'm gonna use these I'm gonna cut these down for my corners I'll have I'll put a heavy one there heavy one there uh, I may not need the heavy one in here I'll see what I have but I will put a heavy one down on that corner but I have enough of it it's you know kind of useless the way it is so I, I'll probably just cut four of them down put them in there That'll just give it a little extra strength, too. So, what I am going to do is I am going to get you set up. And we are going to start cutting and assembling.
Yeah, folks, that's that's gonna be it. I am out of material. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think I did earlier in one of my other videos that I was gonna go as far as I could with what I had. Now I got to get some uh, one by rough cut from the Amish so I can finish that up. I have a few other areas that I need to use some rough cut. I got to finish off the steps coming up through here. Uh, I don't need a whole lot, but I need enough. Uh, the wall is going to be stiff enough. I put a piece on the corner just to kind of see what it would be like stiffened up. But once I get all this on it, it's going to, this wall will be just fine. I won't have to worry about putting a post up. Uh, let's see, down here, uh, earlier I showed you I was off. I was hanging up here. Uh, for some reason, my tape measure uh, read wrong. <laughs> we'll blame it on the tape measure. Uh, it was about, oh, about almost a half an inch too long on that one. So I saved you the agony of watching me cut it with a metal blade on my sawzall. But now I got it down where it belongs. Uh, this one... That one was kind of roughed up when I uh, w went to use it, but I don't care. It'll be covered up. Kind of like to finish the, the rough cut on it first before I put the cap on it, but I may. I'm going to start working on a few other things downstairs, and I get those one those done, those little projects done. Then I may come back up here and go ahead and put the cap on it. Hopefully by then I'll have some rough cut. I just got to find out who's cutting one by. Uh, last time we checked, uh, there's only like one or two mills left in the area that's cutting hemlock. Everybody else is cutting hardwood because that's where the money's at. Is in the hardwood, not the hemlockers. Uh, once they uh, they passed a law here in Pennsylvania that you can't uh, build with rough cut. It won't pass inspection. Now, this is just finished in rough cut. Everything else is built with uh, regular sticks. So I can go ahead and finish up with a uh, rough cut and I won't have a problem. But I got to find a, a mill that's cutting. Like I said, the last time we checked, there was only two of them left uh, down by Spartansburg that were cutting hemlock that you could get some. And those guys were just cutting it steady, steadily because everybody was ordering it. So, you know, try and figure that one out. You know, if you're selling it, why aren't you cutting it? Well, whatever. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, I'm as far as I can go right at the moment with my rough cut and getting it finished up. Uh, there will be another little video of me getting this all finished up later on. Uh, we're going to do some other projects downstairs. I'll do some video on those projects. Plus, I have some stuff already uploaded. I just need to post it. I have some other stuff that I did in the garage. So... Everything's going along pretty good. I have plenty to do and plenty to video. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it's not too long. I'm going <laughs> to, I did enough in this one. Hopefully I can time lapse it out and it doesn't take an hour and a half. So I hope to catch you on the next one and see you on the next one. Until then, see ya. Guess I should give you a little further back view of it. That's where all that, that's where that room was back there. And we tore down all of that wall and this is where we're going with it.